Thank you for giving me the opportunity um, to give the talk about guiding your ideas from presentation to published excellence. My name is Alexander Bernhardt. I'm cardiac surgeon from Hamburg, Germany, um, and section editor for mechanical surgical support of the Journal of Heart and Lung Transplantation. Here are my pleasures. First of all, congratulations uh, for your abstract being um, accepted uh, for the ISHRT annual meeting. This is really an honor and a privilege um, to be one of the exceptional um, abstracts. Before the meeting and before the presentation, um, make sure to uh, tell a story, be very specific with your uh, statements and do not overstrength your results, which is uh, very important. And you should know the literature in your field um, in order to have a very good uh, discussion. And uh, before going to, to the meeting, uh, be curious and be open. Um, the, uh, during the discussion, there are a lot of uh, constructive meant um, comments and uh, you should use them. And you, you should have fun with the discussion. When I was a young resident, I was, um, and I, I'm sure many of you know that, so you, you try to survive the discussion but it's the other way around. Um, look forward uh, to the discussion, have fun. And uh, al always have your manuscript in mind when giving your presentation and uh, use the comments um, which are instructive. But there are different questions and comments at the meeting and um, you should always keep in mind um, what was the intention of the question. Is it interest uh, what uh, it your um, your own work, or is it rather self-promoting? Um, being a surgeon, I know many uh, surgeons in surgical meetings, um, they only want to say that they do the same, they are the first, and they did the most. This is not very constructive, but ISHRT is a very constructive community, so um, use the comments. What's the sense of the question and the comment? Is it a specific one? Is it a specific aspect which you should address? Um, when writing your manuscript, or is it more a structural, more general aspect? And um, both um, can be very useful. But are they, uh, these uh, comments or, and these uh, questions, are they feasible to incorporate into your manuscript, or um, is it uh, due to the, uh, the study design and the methods, or because you did not collect the data, is it not possible to include um, these aspects into your manuscript? And you're not alone. Um, there are a lot of uh, mentors in the audience, uh, but you also have your PI of your, of your study and um, ask them and reach out um, to, to, um, to people, maybe who ask the question um, if you don't understand what they meant. Um, and again, um, it's, uh, it's a matter of, um, of uh, also a privilege to, to get all these um, comments um, at the meeting. And you can also use um, ISHRT Connect to reach out to people. You find their, um, your, their uh, email, for example, there and, and ask uh, for help if you need them. And you, you can also look out for researchers with the same interest and similar research questions, an expert in this field, and they may, they may help you uh, when, uh, when it comes to preparation of your manuscript. And there are a lot of um, collaboration network opportunities uh, during the ISHRT annual meeting. And there are IDN meetings, PC meetings, and they're very uh, nice wine and cheese um, um, occasions during the poster sessions. And there are a lot of mentoring opportunities, such as uh, mentor mentee lunches, for example, um, or the other kind of lunches um, uh, around there. And use the ISHRT um, meeting app to orientate and also ISHRT Connect, as I mentioned, to reach people. And, you're probably pretty familiar with the um, uh, structure of the ISHRT. There are a lot of IDNs and PCs, and there are a lot of opportunities to reach out to people who have the same sense of um, of uh, communication, the same sense uh, or the same same sense of of research. Um, and um, ISHRT provides a lot of awards, which is also a great way to network and to connect. There's some examples here, you can find them on ishrt.org. Um, and uh, that's also an opportunity for collaboration and, uh, and research. And you're very much encouraged to submit your manuscript to the uh, Journal of Heart and Lung Transplant. 
There's uh, different manuscript categories and some um, are listed here. Um, original science, um, in innovation articles, brief communication, and sometimes case anecdotes and comments and opinions, which are relevant if you um, have an um, accepted abstract at the ICHTM meeting. It's not easy to get an um, abstract um, uh, accepted as a, as a full manuscript. There are other opportunities, and I would like to um, uh, highlight the new uh, JHRT Open, which is a potential alternative. Editor-in-Chief is uh, Dirk van Ramdonk. And uh, you are also um, encouraged to um, submit your manuscript there. Before writing, uh, make clear to have a clear research uh, question. You should seek for statistical advice. Many manuscripts, um, um, they are lacking of uh, statistical um, uh, methods and, and clear uh, message here, and you should rise, uh, use the right study design to, to answer your clear research question. My first point here, um, of course, you should act ethically um, and uh, keep an open mind and minimize biases. Uh, sometimes it seems very clear in your own institution what is right or what is, what, what is wrong, but keep, keep it open what the literature says. Um, and what is very important also from personal experience, uh, you should make sure who is PI um, before starting to, to write. That helps you to have a mentor. And also, if you have written a very nice manuscript, then everyone wants to be the PI of your, of your manuscript. And you should also um, make sure who is author and who is contributor in order to, um, to get them involved. And you should also agree to publish even negative results. There's a, there's a bias to only um, publish positive results, but this is not ethical. It's important for a clear writing to keep it simple. Use short and familiar words and white jargon acronyms. Be very specific in what you're saying and what, to, what, to, what you want it to be said. Be concrete and not abstract. Um, it, that's easier than to follow your message and say what you mean and mean what you say. And this is important to, to be um, a very good researcher at the very end. And there, um, what is really important is to have a clear message and a clear hypothesis. Many studies are lacking of a clear hypothesis. So in reintroduction, uh, make sure why you are asking the research questions and in the methods say, what did you do, results, what did I find and in discussions? What might it mean? And give a clear uh, clinical um, uh, uh, out at the very end. And there are um, good questions and there are bad questions. There are finer criteria for good research questions. Um, is, it a f is it feasible to answer your question, research question, by um, the numbers and by the, uh, by the methods you're uh, uh, using? And is it interesting or is it um, you are interested in that? Um, or do you think it's, it's really interesting for the uh, research community? And is it novel? Is it ethical to, to answer the question? And is it relevant for the scientific knowledge? And is there a clear research gap that needs to be answered? What makes a poor research question? And I have seen a, a lot of uh, um, bad uh, research out there because um, there are all people who want to answer the question, everyone else has already answered this question. And um, it's not uh, looking out for routine clinical data and trying to think of a question. That's not um, a good research question. Um, there's a good example then, uh, for example, if you're aiming with an error first and then you're defining your target second, that's a bad research question. And thanks to Michelle Kittelson, Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Heart and Lung Development, who provided um, um, this, uh, um, uh, this slide to me. When it comes to submission, if it's rejected without review, you're probably targeting to the wrong journal, even to high, um, or even it's, it's, uh, it's the wrong journal for the research question. If it's rejected after review, consider review's comments carefully. Um, which means um, they, they um, uh, considered uh, this manuscript um, potentially for, uh, for publication, but there may be some uh, criticism around that. And some are 
very helpful. If, if they say revise and resubmit, it's a, a jackpot. So then you have uh, um, one uh, a food in the door and you may it at the very end uh, to, um, to this manuscript. And she listed um, some uh, questions. Um, if, if your uh, manuscript is, um, is rejected after, after review, um, prior to submission to another journal, do you revise the manuscript based on those review comments? And most researchers do so. Um, um, and if it comes to revisions, major revisions, it's great news. Um, you can be frustrated by the response to the reviews, uh, but be polite when answering um, uh, these uh, questions. You should address them point by point and as much as you can um, possibly can. And when in doubt, and I know this by personal experience, sometimes it's helpful um, to reach out to the ed editorial staff and it's not any negative aspect to do so. And I would like to conclude uh, that you should be creative and be strong and be very clear what you're saying and be brave. And ISHT and JHT are very much supportive for your research. Thank you very much and looking forward to see you all in Prague.